Hi everyone, John Paul Brionis here from In Motion Hosting, and thank you for joining us for another video in our WordPress In Motion series. Today I'm going to show you how to change your time zone in the WordPress dashboard. All right, I'm going to begin by logging into WordPress. Let's go ahead and log in. If you don't know how to log into WordPress, a pop-up will come up on the screen. Go ahead and click that to go to our full guide on how to log into your WordPress dashboard. All right, first I'm going to create a post just to show you the timestamp. And let's go ahead and go to Add New, and I'm just going to say this is a test. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and publish it. Notice here next to the published time and date, it has 1429, which would be 229 here local to me. That's not the correct time zone for me. It's off. It's actually only 1029 right here, right now where I'm located, which is in Eastern Standard Time on the East Coast of America. And so I want to adjust this time zone so that it reflects the actual time that I'm really publishing my article or my post. And so what I'm going to do is go to Settings and go ahead and click Settings. And just make sure you're on the General tab here or Section under Settings. So go ahead and click General just to make sure you're on the General Settings page. When you scroll down, you'll see there's a time zone setting here. And so you could click that. You can actually just offset the time if you know how how many hours off you are uh, from, the, from the default time. But what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to pick New York because I know that I'm in the ti same time zone as New York. And so for me, I, as a city, I know that's got the right time zone for me. So pick, go ahead and pick the time zone that's correct for your area. And in my case, once again, is New York. Then scroll down and click the Save Changes button here. You'll see the Settings Saved message here. And then let's go ahead and create a new post. And I just want to show you how it's reflected in the post. And notice this says it was created one minute ago. But if I go to Edit It, it still shows 1429. Okay, So I'm going to go back to Posts. And I'm going to add a new post. And I'm going to call it This is Test 2. And it's just so that we can easily locate it. Go ahead and publish that. And notice now it's showing my correct time zone here. 1030 is the correct time for East Coast where I'm located. So now when I publish a new article, the time zone will match the actual area where I'm located. And it gives a, a more correct indication of when you created the page or post. Thank you for joining us for another video in our WordPress in Motion series. Feel free to like this video and comment below so we can bring you more great videos in the future. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? There's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.